أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Do ye who believe, fulfill your undertakings. The beast of cattle is made lawful unto you for food, except that which is announced unto you herein, game being unlawful when ye are on pilgrimage. Lo, Allah ordaineth that which pleaseth him. O ye who believe, profane not Allah's monuments, nor the sacred month, nor the offerings, nor the garlands, nor those repairing to the sacred house. seeking the grace and pleasure of Allah. But when ye have left the sacred territory, then go hunting if ye will. And let not your hatred of a folk who once stopped your going to the inviolable place of worship seduce you to transgress. But help ye one another unto righteousness and pious duty. Help not one another unto sin and transgression, but keep your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is severe in punishment. Forbidden unto you for food are carrion and blood and swine flesh and that which hath been dedicated unto any other than Allah and the dead through beating and the strangled and the dead through falling from a height and that which hath been killed by the goring of horns and the devoured of wild beasts saving that which ye make lawful by the death stroke and that which have been immolated unto idols. And forbidden is it that ye swear by the divining arrows. This is an abomination. This day are those who disbelieve in despair of ever harming your religion. So fear them not, fear me. This day have I perfected your religion for you and completed my favor unto you and have chosen for you as religion al-Islam. Whoso is forced by hunger, not by will, to sin, for him, lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. They ask thee, O Muhammad, what is made lawful for them? Say, all good things are made lawful for you, and those beasts and birds of prey which ye have trained as hounds are trained. Ye teach them that which Allah taught you, so eat of that which they catch for you, and mention Allah's name upon it. and observe your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is swift to take account. This day are all good things made lawful for you. The food of those who have received the scripture is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them. And so are the virtuous women of the believers, and the virtuous women of those who received the scripture before you, lawful for you, when ye give them their marriage portions, and live with them in honor. not in fornication, nor taking them as secret concubines. Whoso denied the faith, his work is vain, and he will be among the losers in the hereafter. O ye who believe, when ye rise up for prayer, wash your faces and your hands up to the elbows, and lightly rub your heads and wash your feet up to the ankles. And if ye are unclean, purify yourselves. And if ye are sick or on a journey, O one of you cometh from the closet, O ye have had contact with women, and ye find not water, then go to clean high ground, and rub your faces and your hands with some of it. Allah would not place a burden on you, but he would purify you, and would perfect his grace upon you, that ye may give thanks. Remember Allah's grace upon you and his covenant by which he bound you, when ye said, We hear and we obey, and keep your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah knoweth what is in the breasts of men. O ye who believe, be steadfast witnesses for Allah in equity, and let not hatred of any people seduce you, that ye deal not justly. Deal justly, that is nearer to your duty. Observe your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is informed of what ye do. Allah hath promised those who believe and do good works, theirs will be forgiveness and immense reward. And they who disbelieve and deny our revelations, such are rightful owners of hell. O ye who believe, remember Allah's favor unto you, how a people were minded to stretch out their hands against you, but he withheld their hands from you. And keep your duty to Allah, in Allah. Let believers put their trust. 
Allah made a covenant of old with the children of Israel and we raised among them twelve chieftains and Allah said, Lo, I am with you. If ye establish worship and pay the poor due and believe in my messengers and support them and lend unto Allah a kindly loan, surely I shall remit your sins and surely I shall bring you into gardens underneath which rivers flow. Whoso among you disbelieveth after this will go astray from a plain road. And because of their breaking their covenant, we have cursed them and made hard their hearts. They change words from their context and forget a part of that whereof they were admonished. Thou wilt not cease to discover treachery from all save a few of them, but bear with them and pardon them. Lo, Allah loveth the kindly. And with those who say, Lo, we are Christians, we made a covenant, but they forgot a part of that whereof they were admonished. Therefore, we have stirred up enmity and hatred among them till the day of resurrection, when Allah will inform them of their handiwork. O people of the scripture, now hath our messenger come unto you, expounding unto you much of that which ye used to hide in the scripture, and forgiving much. Now hath come unto you light from Allah and a plain scripture, whereby Allah guideth him who seeketh his good pleasure unto parts of peace. He bringeth them out of darkness unto light by his decree, and guideth them unto a straight path. They indeed have disbelieved who say, Lo, Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. Say, who then can do aught against Allah if he had willed to destroy the Messiah, son of Mary, and his mother, and everyone on earth? Allah's is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them. He createth what he will, and Allah is able to do all things. Jews and Christians say, We are sons of Allah and his loved ones. Say, Why then doth he chastise you for your sins? Nay, ye are but mortals of his creating. He forgiveth whom he will, and chastiseth whom he will. Allah's is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them, and unto him is the journeying. O people of the scripture, now has our messenger come unto you to make things plain unto you, after an interval of cessation of the messengers, lest ye should say, there came not unto us a messenger of cheer, nor any warner. Now hath a messenger of cheer and a warner come unto you. Allah is able to do all things. And remember, when Moses said unto his people, O my people, remember Allah's favor unto you, how he placed among you prophets, and he made you kings, and gave you that which he gave not to any other of his creatures. O my people, Go into the holy land which Allah hath ordained for you. Turn not in flight, for surely ye turn back as losers. He said, O Moses, lo, a giant people dwell therein, and lo, we go not in till they go forth from thence. When they go forth from, then we will enter, not till then. Then outspake two of those who feared their Lord, men unto whom Allah had been gracious, Enter in upon them by the gate, for if ye enter by it, lo, ye will be victorious. So put your trust in Allah, if ye are indeed believers. He said, O Moses, we will never enter the land while they are in it. So go thou and thy Lord and fight, we will sit here. He said, My Lord, I have control of none but myself and my brother, so distinguish between us and the wrongdoing folk. The Lord said, For this the land will surely be forbidden them for forty years, that they will wander in the earth bewildered. So grieve not over the wrongdoing folk. But recite unto them with truth the tale of the two sons of Adam, how they offered each a sacrifice, and it was accepted from the one of them, and it was not accepted from the other. The one said, I will surely kill thee. The other answered, Allah accepteth only from those who ward off evil. Even if thou stretch out thy hand against me to kill me, I shall not stretch out my hand against thee to kill thee. Lo, 
I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. So oh, I would rather thou shouldst bear the punishment of the sin against me and thine own sin and become one of the owners of the fire. That is the reward of evildoers. But the other's mind imposed on him the killing of his brother, so he slew him and became one of the losers. And Allah sent a raven scratching up the ground to show him how to hide his brother's naked corpse. He said, Woe unto me! Am I not able to be as this raven and so hide my brother's naked corpse? And he became repentant. That cause we decreed for the children of Israel that whosoever killeth a human being for other than manslaughter or corruption in the earth, it shall be as if he had killed all mankind, and whoso saveth the life of one, it shall be as if he had saved the life of all mankind. Our messengers came unto them of old with clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, but afterwards, lo, many of them became prodigals in the earth. The only reward of those who make war upon Allah and His Messenger and strive after corruption in the land will be that they will be killed or crucified or have their hands and feet on alternate sides cut off or will be expelled out of the land. Such will be their degradation in the world and in the hereafter theirs will be an awful doom. Save those who repent before ye overpower them, for know that Allah is forgiving, merciful. O ye who believe, be mindful of your duty to Allah, and seek the way of approach unto Him, and strive in His way in order that ye may succeed. As for those who disbelieve, lo, if all that is in the earth were theirs, and as much again therewith, to ransom them from the doom on the day of resurrection, it would not be accepted from them. Theirs will be a painful doom. They will wish to come forth from the fire, but they will not come forth from it. Theirs will be a lasting doom. As for the thief, both male and female, cut off their hands. It is the reward of their own deeds and exemplary punishment from Allah. Allah is mighty, wise. But whoso repenteth after his wrongdoing and amendeth, lo, Allah will relent toward him. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Knowest thou not that unto Allah belongeth the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth? He punisheth whom he will and forgiveth whom he will. Allah is able to do all things. O Messenger, let not them grieve thee who why one with another in the race to disbelief of such as say with their mouths, We believe, but their hearts believe not. And of the Jews, listeners for the sake of falsehood, listeners on behalf of other folk who come not unto thee, changing words from their context and saying, If this be given unto you, receive it. But if this be not given unto you, then be there. He whom Allah doometh unto sin, thou by thine efforts will avail him naught against Allah. Those are they for whom the will of Allah is that he cleanse not their hearts. Theirs in the world will be ignominy and in the hereafter an awful doom. Listeners for the sake of falsehood, greedy for illicit gain, if then they have recourse unto thee, Muhammad, judge between them or disclaim jurisdiction. If thou disclaimest jurisdiction, then they cannot harm thee at all. But if thou judgest, judge between them with equity. Lo, Allah loveth the equitable. How come they unto thee for judgment when they have the Torah, wherein Allah hath delivered judgment for them? Yet even after that they turn away. Such folk are not believers. So oh, we did reveal the Torah wherein is guidance and a light by which the prophets who surrendered unto Allah judged the Jews and the rabbis and the priests judged by such of Allah's scripture as they were bidden to observe and thereunto were their witnesses. So fear not mankind but fear me and barter not my revelations for a little gain. Whoso judgeth not by that which Allah hath revealed, such are disbelievers. And we prescribe for them therein the life for the life, and the eye for the eye, and the nose for the nose, 
and the ear for the ear, and the tooth for the tooth, and for wounds retaliation. But whoso forgoeth it in the way of charity, it shall be expiation for him. Whoso judgeth not by that which Allah hath revealed, such are wrongdoers. And we cause Jesus, son of Mary, to follow in their footsteps, confirming that which was revealed before him in the Torah, and we bestowed on him the gospel, wherein is guidance and a light, confirming that which was revealed before it in the Torah, a guidance and an admonition unto those who ward off evil. Let the people of the gospel judge by that which Allah hath revealed therein. Whoso judgeth not by that which Allah hath revealed, such are evil livers. And unto thee have we revealed the scripture with the truth, confirming whatever scripture was before it, and a watcher over it. So judge between them by that which Allah hath revealed, and follow not their desires away from the truth which hath come unto thee. For each we have appointed a divine law and a traced out way. Had Allah willed, he could have made you one community, but that he may try you by that which he hath given you, he hath made you as ye are. So why one with another in good works? Unto Allah ye will all return, and he will then inform you of that wherein ye differ. So judge between them by that which Allah hath revealed, and follow not their desires, but beware of them, lest they seduce thee from some part of that which Allah hath revealed unto thee. And if they turn away, then know that Allah's will is to smite them for some sin of theirs. Lo, many of mankind are evil livers. Is it a judgment of the time of pagan ignorance that they are seeking? Who is better than Allah for judgment to a people who have certainty in their belief? O ye who believe, take not the Jews and Christians for friends, they are friends one to another. He among you who taketh them for friends is one of them. Lo, Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. And thou seest those in whose heart is a disease raised toward them, saying, We fear lest a change of fortune befall us. And it may happen that Allah will vouchsafe unto thee the victory or a commandment from his presence. Then will they repent them of their secret thoughts. Then will the believer say unto the people of the scripture, Are these they who saw by Allah their most binding oaths that they were surely with you? Their works have failed and they have become the losers. O ye who believe, whoso of you becometh a renegade from his religion, Know that in his stead Allah will bring a people whom he loveth and who love him, humble toward believers, stern toward disbelievers, striving in the way of Allah and fearing not the blame of any blamer. Such is the grace of Allah which he giveth unto whom he will. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. Your friend can be only Allah and his messenger and those who believe who establish worship and pay the poor due, and bow down in prayer. And whoso taketh Allah and his messenger, and those who believe for friends, will know that, lo, the party of Allah, they are the victorious. O ye who believe, choose not for friends such of those who receive the scripture before you, and of the disbelievers, as make a jest and sport of your religion. But keep your duty to Allah, if ye are true believers. And when ye call to prayer, they take it for a jest and sport. That is because they are a folk who understand not. Say, O people of the scripture, do ye blame us for aught else than that we believe in Allah and that which is revealed unto us and that which was revealed aforetime and because most of you are evil livers? Shall I tell thee of a worse case than theirs for retribution with Allah? Worse is the case of him whom Allah hath cursed, him on whom his wrath hath fallen. Worse is he of whose sort Allah hath turned some to apes and swine, and who serveth idols. Such are in worse plight and further astray from the plain road. When they come unto you, Muslims, they say, We believe. But they came in in unbelief, and they went out in the same. 
and Allah knoweth best what they were hiding. And thou seest many of them vying one with another in sin and transgression and their devouring of illicit gain. Verily, evil is what they do. Why do not the rabbis and the priests forbid their evil speaking and their devouring of illicit gain? Verily, evil is their handiwork. The Jews say, Allah's hand is fettered. Their hands are fettered, and they are accursed for saying so. Nay, but both his hands are spread out wide in bounty. He bestoweth as he will. That which hath been revealed unto thee from thy Lord is certain to increase the contumacy and disbelief of many of them. And we have cast among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. As often as they light a fire for war, Allah extinguisheth it. Their effort is for corruption in the land, and Allah loveth not corruptors. If only the people of the scripture would believe and ward off evil, surely we should remit their sins from them, and surely we should bring them into gardens of delight. They had observed the Torah and the Gospel, and that which was revealed unto them from their Lord, they would surely have been nourished from above them and from beneath their feet. Among them there are people who are moderate, but many of them are of evil conduct. O Messenger, make known that which hath been revealed unto thee from thy Lord, for if thou do it not, thou wilt not have conveyed his message. Allah will protect thee from mankind. Lo, Allah guideth not the disbelieving folk. Say, O people of the scripture, ye have naught of guidance till ye observe the Torah and the Gospel, and that which was revealed unto you from your Lord. That which is revealed unto thee, Muhammad, from thy Lord, is certain to increase the contumacy and disbelief of many of them. But grieve not for the disbelieving folk. So those who believe and those who are Jews and the Sabaeans and Christians, whosoever believeth in Allah and the last day, and doth right, there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. We made a covenant of old with the children of Israel, and we sent unto them messengers. As often as a messenger came unto them with that which their souls desired not, they became rebellious. Some of them they denied, and some they slew. Thought no harm would come of it, so they were willfully blind and deaf. And afterward Allah turned in mercy toward them. Now, even after that, are many of them willfully blind and deaf. Allah is seer of what they do. We surely disbelieve who say, Lo, Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. The Messiah himself said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Lo, whoso ascribeth partners unto Allah, for him Allah hath forbidden paradise. His abode is the fire. For evildoers there will be no helpers. Surely disbelieve who say, Lo, Allah is the third of three, when there is no God save the one God. If they desist not from so saying, a painful doom will fall on those of them who disbelieve. Will they not rather turn unto Allah and seek forgiveness of Him? For Allah is forgiving, merciful. The Messiah, son of Mary, was no other than a messenger, messengers the like of whom had passed away before him, and his mother was a saintly woman, and they both used to eat earthly food. See how we make the revelations clear for them, and see how they are turned away. Say, serve ye in place of Allah that which possesseth for you neither hurt nor use? Allah it is, who is the hearer, the knower. Say, O people of the scripture, stress not in your religion other than the truth, and follow not the vain desires of folk who erred of old and led many astray and erred from a plain road. Those of the children of Israel who went astray were cursed by the tongue of David and of Jesus, son of Mary. That was because they rebelled and used to transgress. They restrained not one another from the wickedness they did. Verily, evil was that they used to do. Thou seest many of them making friends with those who disbelieve. Surely ill for them is that which they themselves send on before them, that Allah will be wroth with them, and in the doom they will abide. If they believed in Allah and the Prophet and that which is revealed unto him, they would not choose them, 
for their friends, but many of them are of evil conduct. Thou wilt find the most vehement of mankind in hostility to those who believe to be the Jews and the idolaters, and thou wilt find the nearest of them in affection to those who believe to be those who say, Lo, we are Christians. That is because there are among them priests and monks, and because they are not proud. When they listen to that which hath been revealed unto the messenger, thou seest their eyes overflow with tears because of their recognition of the truth. They say, Our Lord, we believe, inscribe us as among the witnesses. How should we not believe in Allah and that which hath come unto us of the truth? And how should we not hope that our Lord will bring us in along with righteous folk? Allah hath rewarded them for that, they are saying, gardens underneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide for ever. That is the reward of the good. Those who disbelieve and deny our revelations, they are owners of hell fire. O ye who believe, forbid not the good things which Allah hath made lawful for you, and transgress not. Lo, Allah loveth not transgressors. Each of that which Allah hath bestowed on you as food lawful and good, and keep your duty to Allah, in whom ye are believers. Allah will not take you to task for that which is unintentional in your oaths, but He will take you to task for the oaths which ye swear in earnest. The expiation thereof is the feeding of ten of the needy with the average of that wherewith ye feed your own folk, or the clothing of them, or the liberation of a slave, and for him who findeth not the wherewithal to do so, then a three days past. This is the expiation of your oaths when ye have sworn, and keep your oaths. Thus Allah expoundeth unto you his revelations, in order that ye may give thanks. O ye who believe, strong drink and games of chance and idols and divining arrows are only an infamy of Satan's handiwork. Leave it aside in order that ye may succeed. Satan seeketh only to cast among you enmity and hatred by means of strong drink and games of chance, and to turn you from remembrance of Allah and from his worship. Will ye then have done? Obey Allah and obey the messenger and beware. But if ye turn away, then know that the duty of our messenger is only plain conveyance of the message. There shall be no sin imputed unto those who believe and do good works for what they may have eaten in the past. So be mindful of your duty to Allah and believe and do good works. And again, be mindful of your duty and believe. And once again, be mindful of your duty and do right. Allah loveth the good. O ye who believe, Allah will surely try you somewhat in the matter of the game which you take with your hands and your spears, that Allah may know him who fareth him in secret. Whoso transgresseth after this, for him there is a painful doom. O ye who believe, kill no wild game while ye are on the pilgrimage. Whoso of you killeth it of set purpose, he shall pay its forfeit in the equivalent of that which he hath killed of domestic animals, the judge to be two men among you known for justice, the forfeit to be brought as an offering to the Kaaba, or for expiation he shall feed poor persons, or the equivalent thereof in fasting, that he may taste the evil consequences of his deed. Allah forgiveth whatever of this kind may have happened in the past, but whoso relapseth, Allah will take retribution from him. Allah is mighty, able to require the wrong. Hunt and to eat the fish of the sea is made lawful for you, a provision for you and for seafarers. But to hunt on land is forbidden you, so long as ye are on the pilgrimage. Be mindful of your duty to Allah, and to whom ye will be gathered. Allah hath appointed the Kaaba, the sacred house, a standard for mankind, and the sacred month, and the offerings, and the garlands. That is so, that ye may know that Allah knoweth whatsoever is in the heavens, and whatsoever is in the earth, and that Allah is knower of all things. Know that Allah is severe in punishment, but that Allah also is forgiving, merciful. The duty of the messenger is only to convey the message. 
Allah knoweth what ye proclaim and what ye hide. Nay, the evil and the good are not alike, even though the plenty of the evil attract thee. So be mindful of your duty to Allah, O men of understanding, that ye may succeed. Ye who believe, ask not of things which if they were made known unto you would trouble you. But if ye ask of them when the Quran is being revealed, they will be made known unto you. Allah pardoneth this, for Allah is forgiving, clement. Folk before you asked for such disclosures, and then disbelieved therein. Allah hath not appointed anything in the nature of a Bahira, or a Saiba, or a Vasila, or a Hami. But those who disbelieve invent a lie against Allah. Most of them have no sense. And when it is said unto them, Come unto that which Allah hath revealed, and unto the Messenger, they say, Enough for us is that wherein we found our fathers. What? Even though their fathers had no knowledge whatsoever, and no guidance? O ye who believe, ye have charge of your own souls. He who erreth cannot injure you if ye are rightly guided. Unto Allah ye will all return, and then he will inform you of what ye used to do. O ye who believe, let there be witnesses between you when death draweth nigh unto one of you, at the time of bequest, two witnesses, just men from among you, or two others from another tribe, in case ye are campaigning in the land, and the calamity of death befall you. Ye shall impanel them both after the prayer, and if ye doubt, they shall be made to swear by Allah, saying, We will not take a bribe, even though it were on behalf of a near kinsman, nor will we hide the testimony of Allah, for then indeed we should be of the sinful. Then, if it is afterwards ascertained that both of them merit the suspicion of sin, let two others take their place of those nearly concerned, and let them swear by Allah, saying, Verily, our testimony is truer than their testimony, and we have not transgressed the bounds of duty, for then indeed we should be of the evil doers. Thus it is more likely that they will bear true witness or fear that, after their oaths, the oath of others will be taken. So be mindful of your duty to Allah and hearken. Allah guideth not the froward folk. In the day when Allah gathereth together the messengers and saith, What was your response from mankind? They say, We have no knowledge. Lo, thou, only thou art the knower of things hidden. Allah saith, O Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor unto thee and unto thy mother, how I strengthen thee with the Holy Spirit, so that thou spakest unto mankind in the cradle as in immaturity, and how I taught thee the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel, and how thou didst shape of clay as it were the likeness of a bird by my permission, and didst blow upon it and it was a bird by my permission. And thou didst heal him who was born blind and the leper by my permission. And how thou didst raise the dead by my permission. And how I restrained the children of Israel from harming thee when thou camest unto them with clear proofs. And those of them who disbelieved exclaimed, This is naught else than mere magic. And when I inspired the disciples, saying, Believe in me and in my messenger, they said, We believe, bear witness that we have surrendered unto thee. And the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, is thy Lord able to send down for us a table spread with food from heaven? He said, Observe your duty to Allah if ye are true believers. He said, we wish to eat thereof, that we may satisfy our hearts, and know that thou hast spoken truth to us, and that thereof we may be witnesses. Jesus, son of Mary, said, O Allah, Lord of us, send down for us a table spread with food from heaven, that it may be a feast for us, for the first of us and for the last of us, and a sign from thee. Give us sustenance. For thou art the best of sustainers. Allah said, Lo, I send it down for you, and whoso disbelieveth of you afterward, him surely will I punish with the punishment wherewith I have not punished 
any of my creatures. And when Allah saith, O Jesus, son of Mary, didst thou say unto mankind, Take me and my mother for two gods beside Allah? He saith, Be glorified. It was not mine to utter that to which I had no right. If I used to say it, then thou knewest it. Thou knowest what is in my mind, and I know not what is in thy mind. Lo, thou, only thou art the knower of things hidden. I spake unto them only that which thou commandedst me, saying, Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. I was a witness of them while I dwelt among them, and when thou tookest me, thou wast the watcher over them. Thou art witness over all things. If thou punish them, lo, they are thy slaves, and if thou forgive them, lo, they are thy slaves. Lo, thou, only thou art the mighty, the wise. Allah saith, This is a day in which their truthfulness profiteth the truthful, for theirs are gardens underneath which rivers flow, wherein they are secure for ever. Allah taking pleasure in them, and they in him. That is the great triumph. To Allah belongeth the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and whatsoever is therein, and he is able to do all things.